what it do, YouTube. It's your boy Dutty Boy D from the Lost. I don't come in that shit for no reason, you know. And today's content is gonna be the Sprint Booster V3, as you guys can see by the thumbnail. Um, before I get into the video, I just wanna make sure make sure everybody is safe where they're at due to the police brutality and the, all the stuff that's taking place in um, America right now, COVID-19, all that good stuff. Please make sure you and your families is taken care of, all right? Um, also, I wanna say thank you everybody for subscribing to my channel, um, dropping likes, commenting, just pretty much interacting with the channel without you guys. It's no me for this channel, so I appreciate you guys. Keep hitting the subscribe, the like, and drop comments. Let me know what you guys wanna see um, here and there. Um, like I said, I got a lot of content I'm trying to bring you guys starting this month and next month. So let me know what you guys want to see. But we'll get into the Sprint Booster pretty much. All right, so bad lighting. Let me see if I grab a phone light real quick. All right. So pretty much, all right, this is what the Sprint Booster looks like right here. All right, that's what it looks like. Um, you can get it from Z1 Motorsports for approximately about $300. You might be able to find it cheaper on other websites. I'm not 100% sure. I just do pretty much all my shopping um, on Z1 Motorsports. But you can get it for about 300 uh, bucks. I'll drop the link in the description where you can get it from. Um, pretty much what the Sprint Booster does, it's not going to give you additional horsepower. Okay? It's just not going to do it. It's not set up for stuff like that. Um, all it's going to do pretty much is give you more torque. All right? So what I mean by torque, it's going to... See if I can pop the hood, show you guys something real quick. Uh, those of you that don't know what torque is and stuff like that, I'll explain it to you as best as I can. All right, so underneath the engine bay, let me get my flashlight. All right, underneath the engine bay, see these things right here? These are your throttle bodies, all right? If you have a VQ35, you've got a v, VQ37, um, the HR, VHR, stuff like that. You're gonna have two throttle bodies, all right? You have the DE version of the G35 or the Rev Up. You're only gonna have one throttle body, all right? Um, pretty much what this Sprint Booster does, it's going to open up, right, the throttle body that's right here, the Nissan stuff right over it with the couplet, with the Stellan. That's gonna be your throttle body right in there. It's gonna open up that butterfly valve. However, you if you touch the throttle 25%, your throttle body will open up 25%, okay? Um, so let's say if I want to send it, I want to stretch floor it. My throttle body, instead of it gradually going all the way to 100%, slowly but surely, it's actually now at this time, it is going to open up 100% as soon as I hit the throttle, all right? So as soon as I hit the throttle, it's gonna be 100% open. I don't have to wait for the throttle body to open up 5%, then 10%, then 20%, then get to 100%. As soon as I touch that gas, it's gonna open up as much as I touch that gas. So if I send it, it's gonna open up, all right? If I floor it about halfway, it's still gonna feel like it's opened up even more because you just pretty much eliminate the lag and delay of the throttle body and the, uh, the response to the pedal, all right? So you're gonna have three modes, three different modes on this, all right? You're gonna have red mode, which is the race mode. It goes all the way to one. Let me see, you might be able to see it better right here. It goes nine. Eight. It goes pretty much one through nine. All right. Just to show you guys, it goes one through nine. Right. That's pretty much gonna be stock mode. All right. You see, it's nothing illuminated on the light at all. No number. No light. Stock mode. Your throttle body and your throttle response is back to stock normal. Okay. You hit it again. It turns green. All right. So now you see that green. Green means sport mode. All right. Like I said, it's one through nine again. Just so I can show you guys. One through nine once again. All right and then you have sport mode, okay? Um, this also contains a valet mode and a park mode, lock mode. So pretty much, let's say if you live in a resident area, residential area with a lot of high crime and stuff like that, wherever you're going has a lot of crime, or you just wanna lock your pedal, that way your car feels 100% secure, you will be able to do that, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you're gonna be able to do that. Let me, yep, you leave the car on like this. Now, you're gonna hold both. Let me get my flashlight back out for y'all. Excuse me, I'm trying to make it work in the dark right now. All right, so as you can see, the one, we got two arrows right here. You wanna hold down these arrows. 
Hold on. Let's turn it off first. There we go. You see that? You have to turn off the Sprint Booster. Make sure your car is off. Make sure the ignition is, the car is not 100% running. Just have it on. And see this little knot? So let's, uh, let's go over to the left. That's going to be lock the pedal. All right. So we want to lock the pedal. We want to hit that. Now you have to type in a three-digit code. All right. My three-digit code is going to be zero. Zero. Hit it again. So now you see the three dots popping up. Zero. All right. See that L? It's now locked. So when I turn the car off, take a look at this. started up as normal everything looks normal correct look at this sprint booster it has an L on it right now watch me on the pedal let me move my flashlight so you guys don't think I am BSing car is still running but there is nothing going on with the throttle it's locked all right so that is how you lock your pedal remember you have to put your code in every time you lock it, you have to unlock it, you have to put your code in, all right? So please don't forget your code. If you forget your code, you're going to have to wait and run your car smooth 35 to 40 minutes, wasting gas. You're going to be late to wherever you're trying to go to because the only way to reset this sprint booster is by letting the car run for 35, 40 minutes by being on, and then you will be able to unlock the sprint booster and able to use your car again, all right? So please remember your code. Don't want anybody running late to work or anything like that because they gotta wait 40 minutes, run out of gas, because they gotta run their car until this opens back up and unlocks, okay? So we're gonna unlock it. We are now gonna, but again, you have to turn the car off, put it in on mode. So now we're gonna unlock it. Let me get my flashlight back out for y'all. See the L? Gonna turn it off. All right, so now we're gonna hit the two arrows again. All right, so now it's asking us for the code. See that dot? So our first code is going to be zero, like I put in. See the second dash, the second number? Zero, like I just put in. Third number, zero. U, unlocked. So we're going to start back up. We're going to turn it on, right? Put it back on race mode. Put it back on non. I'm going to turn the car off. Now we're going to turn the car back on. in race mode nine, right? I don't have to type it in because it's already unlocked. And now, let's take a look at the gas pedal. All right, so now I got my response back. The same thing for the valet mode. It's gonna be the same thing, but instead of when you hit it, when you see the L, you wanna hit the right arrow. The right arrow, and you're gonna say P for part. I don't know why it's P for park, but it's pretty much valet, all right? So L for lock the pedal. The P is gonna be for your valet. It's pretty much gonna slow down your car's performance. I want it to like 75 to 80%, all right? I'm not saying you can't drive it in valet mode, but the power is reduced significantly, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little something as you take a few road tests real quick. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it works and the difference. Let me close my... Ooh, all right so I'm turn my traffic control off i'm going to put it just for you guys to see right now i'm going to turn off the sprint booster you see no numbers anything highlighted illuminated we're going to turn it off we're going to go for a little ride around here okay Right now, my throttle body, butterfly valve, is opening up as stock, all right? It's this normal um, throttle response, so I'm gonna have some delay here, all right? Let's wait for this car to pass us by.
the RPMs jump up so much quicker. And this is not only for just the beginning torque of your first, second gears. This helps with shifting. All right, so your up shifting, your down shifting is so much more crisp and clean and faster. So it's not like you feel like you're delayed from shifting now. It's much more crisp, um, it's sharper, more efficient. Uh, let's take a look again. I'm gonna just. So sport mode is this is my first time actually using sport mode. It is not that bad, but I mean, if I'm paying three hundred dollars. Want to do race mode, all right? So I want to do the most I can. And like I said, this is just my honest review. I've had this for about a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred miles. So this is just my honest review on the Sprint Booster. All right, so we're gonna do it again. On the way back, we are gonna change it into race mode, and you guys will see the difference. to race mode nine see it's red and the nine let's show you guys what race mode nine does hold on back into this parking lot real quick chit chat it up a little bit more let's get the shifts look how quick that shift was super quick shift so my car is not 100% bone stock. I do have bolt-ons, um, exhaust. I do not have headers. I do have uh, test pipes and wide pipe from Soho and stuff like that. So I'm not 100% bone stock, but for a stock car, you're gonna see pretty much the same thing, all right? It works for any type of car, all right? So let me just show you guys exactly what you're gonna be doing to install it. Like I said, it's a 15 to 20 minute install. You're gonna need a flat head and a wrench. But pretty much here, you see these two bolts right here? It's gonna be a black cover covering that up. You're gonna have to get a flat head, pop that bad boy open from the side, kind of right here where I did mine, as you just see, the marks. Pop it open, you'll have your whole pedal out. All you're gonna do is this wire, right? You're gonna connect this wire into the pedal harness connector, it's just pretty much gonna bypass it, all right? So it's just a plug and play type feature, no more than 15, 20 minutes. You put your bolts back in. I did not put my cover back on. As I said, the hell with it, what do I need it for? Um, just case I wanna take it back out again. Probably not, but like I said, my review on the Sprint Booster V3 is, I would say, definitely buy it. It's only $300 uh, from Z1 Motorsports. If you guys find it from anywhere else that is cheaper, please let me know down in the comment section. But the Sprint Booster 3 is definitely worth it. Um, like I said, if you're looking for extra horsepower, you will not receive that whatsoever. But if you're looking for the car's delay on lag, on the throttle response is piss poor, and you know you can get more out of your car, definitely get it out. Definitely get that uh, Sprint Booster V3. 
Like I said, I've had it for about a, maybe a 1, 1,500 miles. I haven't had no problems. Plus, you also have the good feature of locking your pedal for high crimes or you just want to lock up your stuff. You got the valet mode. I mean, it, it doesn't get any better than that. Like I said, you can go from stop, you can go from race mode, you can go to uh, sport mode, all while driving. Just touch the middle button. You can adjust it with your two... Uh, two arrows right there and then another important point if you guys have an automatic or a manual it does not matter the sprint booster does come with an automatic feature and a manual feature for your car so whatever transmission that you're running you just select it on the sprint booster automatic manual boom voila you're good to go all right so like i said thank you guys for supporting the channel i appreciate you guys sincerely please make sure you give me your thoughts um do you guys like the sprint booster is something better than the sprint booster do you like the pedal commander you guys let me know in the comment section down below please drop a like comment and keep subscribing to the channel appreciate you guys just keep subscribing man spread the word spread my videos this is for you guys all right so if you guys want to see great content like i'm trying to give you guys the whole summer with the tune stuff and the, you know just diy stuff like that just let me know what you guys want to see in my videos and i got y'all all right Drop a like, subscribe, comment down below. Till the next time.